staff and boys. Welcome to our year six graduation, coming this afternoon from our beautiful, peaceful chapel in St Edward's, which has been used by our boys for over 90 years. Today is both a happy and sad occasion. It's happy because the boys have come such a long way in these past six years of junior school. We've seen them develop and grow into the fine young men that they are becoming today. It's sad because we cannot be together. 2020 will be remembered for many things. Some of them bad, and many of them good. Like the comradeship that has united us in this time of need. There's been a lot of grief and sacrifice and loss throughout the world. But it's also given us a hunger and appreciation for life. 2020 will also be remembered for a special group of boys, our year six leavers. For they too show many similarities in their character to the good qualities that have come out of this memorable year. They've always impressed me for their negotiation skills with each other and with myself. They have a strong sense of comradeship and forgiveness, even after our football disagreements with stories of who talked to, who kicked who by mistake, and who teased the losing team. Oh, I wish to hear these stories again, knowing that the boys are playing together once more. I think I even enjoy the fact that somebody's got a green out, knowing that we're all living a college life again. By the way, well done. I really haven't been too many of those this year. This epidemic has given us the chance to put into practice your St. Edward's values. We do things for other people to help. We may have discovered a sense of purpose that we've been missing. Have you cleaned out your bedroom recently? No, probably not. Have you given your own toys to charity? Read that good book? Apart from Kansuki's Kingdom. Or maybe completed that thousand piece jigsaw or that board game that you got given last Christmas. I've even heard of a year six boy being especially nice to a younger sibling and developing a bond that they didn't really have before. We perhaps learned who's really important in society. Perhaps it's not the latest YouTube blogger, PewDiePie or Dan TDM, the millionaire footballers, Messi or Ronaldo, or even the Kardashians, although I never really thought that they were that important anyway. Or has it been the heroes of our health service, the ones that have worked so hard to save lives? Hopefully, you've become better acquainted with your families. Yes, I know there have been arguments, falling out, but together, you're a strong unit. I'm sure you've had quiz nights, model making, cooking, bread, and biscuits. You discovered Zoom, and it's helped everybody stay together and for the teacher to deliver their lessons. And I love that you've enjoyed those activities together. You have been the ones to help by staying in to beat a worldwide virus. You have been the ones that have lived through history. So this afternoon we look back on the last six years. Remember the teasing, the jokes told sitting under the trees on the lawn. Not just the academics and the exam results, but all those extras. The livings, the sissy trips away from home, the concerts of Miss Brown and Mr. Maria, the competitions of which we've won, the peeing of the pitches in the team games, 
All those hands and activities that have made you into the great boys that you are today. So, I'll hand over to Mr. Watson and all the opportunities of your future. I really, really can't wait to see you in. I can't wait to see you in there. It would be so nice to see you coming through the gates and you'd be dressed ready for year seven. It would be fantastic. And it will, it will arrive. It will arrive. Um, at the weekend, I had a very, very long conversation with my father. My father um, is an old guy like me, but he's actually a little bit older. And uh, he's certainly not as old as the headmaster. Well, he's, he's the headmaster is much younger than my father. Now, my father, my father, during the Second World War, he had a crisis situation in the sense that for the safety of the children during the Second World War, I don't know if you know about this, um, but the children were moved from their houses into safer places. Now, the safer places were in the countryside in, in England. And uh, my father, he had to leave his house with his brothers and sisters and go and live in the country. Now he absolutely loved it, but it was a very, very strange, completely different time. Now I sincerely hope that you all celebrated Father's Day on Sunday, but perhaps you would not have celebrated as perhaps you would have done if we were in a different situation. But we are in that situation. The point I'm going to make, my father can still tell me stories of when he was evacuated. And they really, they really make me smile, some of the stories that he comes out with. Now, in 10 years time, 15 years time, this graduation ceremony will stay with you because you will remember that in 2020, you graduated not from the chapel here at St. Edward's, but you actually graduate, graduated from your own home. And it's sad in a lot of ways, but the, the, the positive thing, and I always believe in being very, very positive, the positive thing is that you will be with us in September. And as I say, that I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing that. Yeah? Now then, what I would have done if you were here, I would have asked you to do one tiny, tiny little thing. Your parents must be sat there with you, looking at you, feeling really, really proud of everything that you've achieved. What you've achieved with Kenzuki's King. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. It's, it's, it's beyond belief. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. And I'm so looking forward to reading that in more detail. And if that is typical of the type of thing you're going to produce as a body of students, I really can't wait for you to be in the middle school. Now, what I would like you to do, again, is to raise your left hand and give yourself a little pat on the shoulder. Because, boys, you certainly, certainly deserve it. That's all you want to hear from me. I'm now going to introduce you to Father O'Reilly. Thank you, Mr. Watson. Thank you, Ms. Maria. One step at a time, dear boys, we have come to this point where we're about to move from what we call junior school primary school onto middle secondary school. Maybe it is not a very big step in your life. Not quite like starting university, for example, or getting married, or as in my case, being ordained a priest. It's not that big. Still, this is where you are now, and it is an important step for me. I'm sure you can all look back with gratitude over the last few years. Many of you have now spent a number of years at St. Edward's, even since kindergarten. You can, and you should be grateful for so many people who have helped you patiently along the way. You can and you should be grateful towards God. God, our loving Father, who has created us in the first place and sustains us in so many ways. 
So we do that with gratitude. We should include also learning from mistakes or trying to do things better. But we especially look forward with trust and confidence to what lies ahead. Yes, there can be some uncertainty still. Maybe even some anxiety. Yes, COVID-19 leaves us with many question marks. It's true. But there are so many people ready to help us move forward that we have really nothing to do. Let us therefore make an act of trust. Trust in God and trust in others. And let us do that now by reciting from wherever you are, be our Father. The prayer which the Lord Jesus, the Son of God, taught his followers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against. He does not take the temptation, but delivers from evil. Let us pray. O God, our Father, you have granted the gift of intelligence to your children, and have enabled them, through the help of their parents and teachers, to develop their skills and talents, and to advance in knowledge and in understanding. As we celebrate their achievement, grant us all a sense of gratitude and appreciation for all your gifts, and make us ever mindful of our calling, our calling to build a better world, a more beautiful world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Thank you very much, Father Radio, for those words. You now, graduation just wouldn't be a graduation without some singing. And today we have a special graduation medley of songs that Miss Abigail Brown is going to sing to us. Well, thank you very much, Miss Brown. Some have changed 
some forever not for better some have gone and some remain though I know I never need affection for people and things that went Thank you so much, Ms. Brown. I love that book, Tears to My Eye. It was a lovely, lovely song from the boys. Thank you. Now, our last speaker this afternoon was done as important. We have Headmaster. Thank you, Ms. Brown. Boys, well, that's a comment that Mr. Watson had about me being as old as his father in the First World War. The second, sorry, the second world war, uh, the world war when I meet him outside. Listen, we miss you. We miss all of you. I know you miss your friends, you miss each other. As Mr. Watson already mentioned, you are living history. You are a part of history. You are a part of something that your children and your grandchildren will probably say, What happened? How did you manage? How did you, how did you miss your family in contact with what really happened? And we'll be able to tell you. And thankfully you have that wonderful um, production project, 41 pages long, I've seen it, it's absolutely incredible. So well done, congratulations to all of you for producing the Consulting's Kingdom project. It's, it's stunning, it's a bestseller, fantastic. And um, there's another thing that a few people want to thank was all organizations, um, worldwide schools, your parents' businesses, this all happened. And it happened very quickly. And I remember thinking to myself, how on earth are we going to manage? How are we going to do this? What are we going to do? Well, we did. And just over to my right, you can't see them. We have Miss Jade, Mr. Darren, Father Aurelio, Miss Malia, Mr. Watson who have put so much work into making this happen. So I want you all to give a round of applause for these for the work we've managed. But again, like you and your life, you're going to hit these times when you think, oh, I can't do how much, how can I do this? I can't do it. But you can. Never forget, you can do it. You put your mind to it and you will be able to do it. I also want to mention your two incredible teachers. Um, I wish when I was in the 
you since I had teachers like you had. What they've managed to give you has just been outstanding, outstanding. What they've managed to achieve has been outstanding. You will always find people who will try to put you down a little bit. You know, you listen to them, take on board what they're saying, and then you evaluate yourself and you think, maybe he, she has a point, but never doubt yourself. Always be strong. You are now um, our junior school graduate of audience. We're looking very much forward to seeing you next September. It's going to be a fun year. We've all learned so much. So please remember your important values. You will be leaders. You will have good relations with people who are different. The basis for your character has been formed. So remember, be leaders, not followers. I look forward to seeing you all again, boys. Thank you very much. I will throw in something else. Just very brief. There were a couple of tears shed here when we saw you all come. It's a very emotional moment. We miss you. We really miss you, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Close enough, and I'll be to quite a bit. Now, this is the moment when we will be coming up, shaking hands with us all, and receiving your certificates. Now, while this isn't possible this time, we've got your certificates ready, which will be posted to you, but later on this afternoon, I shall make sure that they can be done to you today as well. Now we're going to have a PowerPoint, a short PowerPoint of some slides put together from the things we've been doing with some editors recently. And if you look at it, you might see some familiar faces in there. So enjoy your voice.
and he was drowned off the light. Some wonderful memories there, I think you'll agree. What struck me was so many smiling faces and eyes lighting up. I thank you for joining us here today. To the junior school teachers and the LSEs for their hard work and their dedication throughout all these years. Thank you, Father Aurelia, Ms. Brown, and her much more soul. Your junior school years are behind you. But they belong in your personalities and that the memories you have. Wherever you go, on behalf of all of the junior school staff, I wish you all well. We will miss you. Now, boys, we're just going to extend the session a little bit so that you can talk to each other for a few minutes. Perhaps you want to throw your hands in the air as you will be to Show your hands to everyone. I see you too. I see you. 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 I see Bye, John. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, boys. Bye. 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 Bye bye. Hello. Bye. Bye, Ron. Hello. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Hello. Bye. Hello. Bye. Hello. Bye. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi, Timmy. Hi. Stop it. No. Let's see the ball again. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Let me see the balcony. Oh. I'm gonna end everything.